Hello, and welcome again to the Thrifty Collector. Wanted to go over some days. I had a pretty good mail day today. I've got a couple of items here that I sent off uh, some rookie cards to get signed. I've got a couple of eBay packages that I wanted to go ahead and open up. Now, these rookie cards that I sent in, I sent these in to somebody um, who does private signings, a uh, very reliable person, and um, go ahead and what I do is I mail them out to them and pay them via PayPal. And uh, so let's see what we have here. First one, that's nice. First one is my Steve Carlton rookie. Uh, I bought that, I believe it was about an SGC three or four. I always wanted to get uh, Steve Carlton. I had uh, one of the reasons he's, he's kind of like one of my uh, white whales because when I was a kid growing up, there was always the story that if you had sent him a card to get signed, he was nice enough to rip it up and set, put it back into your envelope and mail it back to you. So uh, he has obviously changed his view of uh, signing autograph cards. But, um, yeah, that's his uh, 65. And, of course, he came up with the Cardinals. He was traded from the Cardinals to the Phillies where he kind of made his uh, big mark as a lefty. But, uh, yeah, nice card. He's got a great signature, just like uh, most of the other older veterans do, uh, not just an X with a couple of squiggly lines. Uh, I think I paid about $30 to get that signed, maybe $35, but that's a nice card to have. Let's see, the next one. Yeah. Oh, this is kind of disappointing. Um, this is the Mark McGuire card that I had sent out. Um, I actually paid a lot for this. This was actually supposed to come with a hologram, a Mark McGuire hologram, which they did not put on there. So I'll have to get with the person. It's actually the same person that did that signing. Um, Actually went pretty steep on this signing. I think I paid $90 because it was supposed to come with uh, McGuire's actual hologram on it, and they did not put the hologram on it. So I'll have to contact the person that I did that through. Uh, very pleased to have that. I've actually had this card particularly since 1985 when it first came out. So what is that, 35 years later, I was finally able to get a card signed. Uh, it's back when he was uh, part of the Olympic team. So very happy to have that, but I do wish that it did have the hologram. I'll have to contact the uh, person that did the signing on that. And I got a couple packages in, and uh, I always cut off the top here because I always want to reuse these packages that these cards do come in. And these are actually, uh, this is a lot of 1971 basketball that I bought. Uh, I actually bought it for the Louis Dampier. And the reason why that's his rookie card, he is a Hall of Famer. I'll go ahead and get that particular card signed. So very happy to have that. Next one is Lou Hudson, another Hall of Famer. Uh, love the old, uh, I believe that's the ABA when the uh, Atlanta Hawks were in, but the um, uniforms that they had back then. Actually, no, that has to be the NBA because that's an NBA ball. Yes, that is an NBA ball. And then uh, Calvin Murphy, that's his rookie card. I'm pretty sure on that one. Could be wrong. So happy to have that. And then Elvin Hayes. I actually have the uh, 1969 Elvin Hayes rookie card out for a signing. That's kind of the bigger cards. Next one. Like I said, I always kind of cross the top on these. Got to reuse these envelopes. There's no sense in letting a good envelope go to waste. Well, I pay an extra 50 cents to have an envelope. All right. This one's actually a – that one's real hard to see. A Notre Dame printing plate. Deshaun Kaiser wasn't a big fan of his. I kind of laughed when the Cleveland Browns drafted him. So uh, I believe it was a second round. 
Uh, he can throw a ball pretty accurately over probably about 15 yards or so. But uh, I collect these printing plates. I'll, uh, I'll buy the Notre Dame printing plates of players as long as they're in their Notre Dame uniform. Uh, I never pay more than $10 ship to me to pick these up. But I just think they're kind of fun to have, kind of a unique item. This is the, the Walmart version. So I think these are actually – they made like eight of these. They're, uh, they're not a reverse negative like a true printing plate should be, but they are nice to have. And uh, it's kind of nice, too, is I've got two more envelopes to use, brand new to me. And uh, thank you for checking in, and uh, stay thrifty.